but President Truman surprised everyone with his strong support. I was told by all these so-called experts that if it was done, it would involve the whole Near East in a war, and it would also involve the United States. Hitler had been murdering Jews right and left. I saw it, and I dream about it even to this day. The Jews needed some place where they could go. It was my attitude that the American government couldn't stand idly by while the victims of Hitler's madness were not allowed to build new lives. Marshall was worried that war would break out. We are in the midst of a very critical situation. We should, therefore, carefully avoid approaching international problems on an emotional basis. He wanted to maintain good relations with the Arabs. I was on the receiving end of Azam Pasha's uh, impressions uh, of his meeting with Marshall. And he was happy. I mean, he felt uh, much more reassured about the Americans after having talked to Marshall than before. And we had the Saudis with us. They were our partners in this business. Two days before the British left Palestine, Truman summoned Marshall to the White House. Clark Clifford was asked to support the case for a Jewish state. General Marshall started out. The uh, president listened attentively and then said, uh, I would like now to hear from Clark. But as I spoke, I saw Marshall's face getting redder and redder. When I finished, he exploded. Marshall accused Truman of a transparent dodge to win the Jewish vote. Clark Clifford did not disguise the fact that Marshall was raging mad. They don't need a state. They don't deserve a state. It isn't theirs. <clears throat> They've stolen that land. Uh, these were Marshall's words. He turned to the president, said, I'm obliged, Mr. President to tell you that if you should adopt the policy that is recommended by Clifford, I would be unable to vote for you in this coming election in November. Well, dead silence in the room. No one had ever heard anything like that. I had never heard anybody threaten the President of the United States in that manner. Before Marshall could go any further, Truman ended the meeting. I gathered my papers together, and the president said, well, that was tough as a cob. Marshall Tet said to uh, Charette, well, it's your decision. Uh, don't count that we uh, can bail you out, but uh, you, we know that you have reached an historic stage and uh, God protect you.